Hello everyone, my name is Aarti Ramesh. I am an assistant professor at the State University of New York at Binghamton. Today I will be presenting our paper on Struct MMSB, a mixed membership stochastic block model with interpretable structured priors. Mixed membership stochastic block models, MMSB, is a popular framework for community detection and network generation. MMSB learns a low rank mixed membership representation for each node across communities by exploiting the underlying graphical structure. MMSB assumes that the membership distributions of the nodes are independently drawn from a Dirichlet distribution and this limits its capability to model highly correlated graph structures that exist in real world networks. Here in this paper, we introduce Structum MSB, which has a structured prior encoded with it to capture the dependencies that exist in real world networks. And we use hinge loss Markov random fields or HLMRFs to encode this structured prior. A brief introduction about HLMRFs before we move on to Structum MSB. HLMRFs are relaxed, logic-based Markov random fields that can reason about both discrete and continuous graph data scalably and accurately. They have efficient inference, which is convex optimization in continuous space. And the most interesting aspect of HLMRFs that makes this very suitable for encoding priors into MMSB is the fact that they have weighted logical rules to model the dependencies. And this is done using probabilistic soft logic, which is a templating language for HLMRFs. So when the dependencies are encoded, they look like logical rules and they are interpretable and easy to understand by anybody, including domain experts who are not in computer science. So now let's go into Structum MSB. So the key idea behind Structum MSB is to replace the Dirichlet priors and the beta priors in the MMSB generator process with structured priors uh, from HLMRF potential functions. And the potential are represented as psi in this plate diagram for MMSB. So now we can see the blue box that goes around the plate diagram and that represents the original MMSB generator process. And we add the structured priors psi pi and psi b to this generative process. Psi pi captures the dependencies between the membership distributions pi p and pi q of two nodes in the graph. What that means is that if p and q are two nodes and pi p and pi q are their membership distributions, they were originally in the MMSB generator process drawn from a Dirichlet distribution with alpha as its parameter. And now to that makes we add psi pi, which is an HRMR of potential function that captures the dependencies among between the pi p and pi q membership distributions. Now, the same idea is used in encoding psi b. Psi b is the HLMR of potential function that captures the dependencies between groups in the group interaction matrix B. So in community detection, we have different groups and nodes are belong part of different groups based on their membership functions. And originally, the group group interaction matrix B was drawn from a beta distribution with beta 1 and beta 2 as their parameters. And to that mix, we add psi b, which is the HLMR of potential that captures the dependencies. To train structural MSB, we use expectation maximization. So we extend the map inference algorithm that is already present in HLMRFs uh, and by encoding specific optimization functions for pi and b as subproblems and then we extend the consensus optimization algorithm to solve for pi and b and by solving for this we get values of pi and b that already have included the dependencies from the hlmr of potential functions psi pi and psi b 
Next, we present a stochastic EM inference method. This scales the EM inference to large networks. Here, we update pi and b using randomly sample node pairs p and q from gp of q instead of the entire sample and gp of q gives the natural gradient instead of the sufficient statistics that we usually use for em inference and this is just a high level overview of the inference procedure i'm not going into too many details um, in the interest of time but i'm happy to elaborate during questions or uh, there are more details in the paper as well now on to experimental evaluation. We present three cases on three different types of networks and how Structum MSP can effectively model them. So the first one that we are looking at here is feature-based similarity. Here, what we are looking to model is that if two nodes have many overlapping features, if the features are similar, then they have similar membership distributions so the first rule here captures the fact that if p and q are two nodes and they have a similar feature capital t and that causes them to be similar which is captured by the latent variable similarity of p and q and note that this latent variables is introduced by HLMRF and it is not part of the original MMSB framework. So this gives us an additional abstraction that we can use to study the network. And we evaluate this on EGO 414 data set. Struct MMSB achieves the best log likelihood, test log likelihood and AUC scores when compared to the baselines of Coppola MMSB, MMSB and IRM. Now we present another case which also brings out the versatility of the model in modeling different scenarios. Here we consider multi-relational graphs. Multi-relational graphs have more than one type of link between nodes in the graph and here we model another latent variable close which models the closeness of a pair of nodes based on how many links they share between them and now we also use the latent variable close and b the interaction between the groups to model the similarity between the membership distributions pi so membership distributions pi p k1 and by QK2 are jointly inferred using the rule 2 which takes the latent variable close and the interaction matrix into consideration. Here again we see that Structum MSV achieves the best log likelihood scores and AUC scores when compared to the baselines. And Note that the Coppola MMSB is originally not designed for multi-relational graphs and it was extended by us uh, as multi-Coppola to serve as a state-of-the-art baseline comparison for Stratton MSB. Now, the last case that I want to present here is community discovery using neighborhood similarity. And note that this is the original problem that MMSB was devised for and here again we see how we can add more flavor to this by seeing how uh, if they have share common links then they are more similar so for example the rule first rule here link pr and link qr infer similarity between p and q if they share a common link then they are more similar and this is again a latent variable and using this latent variable we again cap infer pi p k and pi q k which are the membership distributions. So the membership distributions are now divine driven by the similarity by the structure in the network and this can be captured in this way. And again this the rules that we used are just um, illustration of how HLMR priors can be used. It can be modified as needed uh, for a particular um, application scenario by domain experts which add more interpretability and more um, modeling power 
to the to the model and here we compare structure MMSB to online MMSB because we want to illustrate the prowess of our online EM algorithm, the stochastic EM algorithm. And here um, again, we see structure MSB achieves a better log likelihood score at test time and also AUC scores. And another thing that I want to touch upon here, which is, in my opinion, a very important thing that structure MSB achieves is that it progress is faster towards convergence in both the batch and stochastic scenarios and that is important because that shows that the priors the hnmr priors are guiding the model in the right direction so it is progressing faster and initial few steps are much easier for the model and which is what you would expect from a good prior guiding the model in the early periods when the model has less and data to work with so the key takeaways from Stratum MSB is that it is a versatile general purpose MMSB and it is capable of encoding different kinds of data as illustrated in our experiments, multi-relational data, additional features, dependencies among the membership distributions, dependencies among the group group interaction matrix and in addition to that you can also learn meaningful latent variables and all while encoding them in logical rules which make it not just general purpose also more interpretable thank you for your time and now i will take questions